All right, what's up, guys? This is Ethan Yuxian again, and I'm back. Um, this is Mass Effect once again, and um, yeah, you can uh, kind of see what I'm doing here. Uh, it's so that's kind of cool. Uh, this is the first you get a level up immediately. Um, yeah, so that's that. One of the things I uh, initially do, and um, I really like to do with um, with these games is always update um, or um, make sure you, I keep up on um, I told the the word charm and intimidate uh, basically the reason why is because um, uh, it allows you to have um, that's nasty um, allows you certain uh, conversation options that you wouldn't have otherwise, uh, which I think is very important because a lot of times you can diplomatically um, figure something out, I guess would be the way to put it. Um, you can kind of you know, get around having to get into a big firefight and whatnot uh, by making the right choice of words, um, which I like. Um, some people might rather just like shut up and let's get ready, let's get to it. Um, Orlanko died, or not Orlanko, Jenkins. Again, the um, the combat system in this is a, is a little weird. Um, and I think they could have done a lot better job on this. I think they were so worried about some of the, the new technologies and new ways of doing this. And they didn't really focus as much as they, they probably should have on uh, on the combat. You can see it's like, it's so hard to hit anything because like your um, your the radius of where you shoot keeps expanding um, to such a point that it makes it really difficult. You can't like control it like you can with recoil. Um, anyway, and so, you know, it's a little bit, a little bit of frustrating. Um, like I said, the the one thing that this game is flawed. If this game had had, um, I forget the combat controls on this. How do I get behind this? <laughs> I don't remember how to move behind things. Uh, uh, no, okay. Controller. How do I get behind? It? Okay. I have no idea how to um, Oh whatever, I don't have time to deal with it. Alright, so there's a way to use uh <coughs> like um Any other word <laughs> right. um, there's a way for you to, to engage with cover, but I don't know how to do it. And it seems really weird that I, it's not. The, the second game, it's just you pick A. I know that because I'm playing it. I'm playing through the second game as well right now. Um, but I don't know how the hell to do it on this one. Which is kind of annoying because it's going to bite me in the ass if I don't figure it out soon. Uh, where am I going? Where am I going? <laughs> All right, here we go. And this is the illustrious, the sensual Ashley Williams. Um, she's one of the characters that you can get uh, romantically involved with. Let's call it. Uh, well, I mean, I guess that's technically what it is. Um, where if you uh, choose the right uh, conversation, that's disgusting, uh, the right conversation uh, dialogue choices with her, you can actually um, make sweet, sweet, passionate love. Um, you can actually with three people, I think, in this game. You can with Liara, uh, who's one of the aliens that uh, you can or cannot have working for you. Um, 
No, I think Liara has to work with you. Um, she's one of those that you don't get a choice a choice on. She just she works with the exit. Um, uh, but um, yeah, so this is one of the first games that you can like you can pursue. Romantic involvement uh, with one of your uh, your the NPCs. Um. Uh. So, and a lot of sometimes I'm not. I, the reason why I'm not paying attention to any of the dialogue is because, like I said, I played this through four times already, and so I know all the dialogue pretty much by heart. Um. Let's go kick some ass. Alright. Which I actually like the romantic involvement thing. Um, one of the reasons why is just because, um, well, I'll do this right here. Um, but, one of the reasons it just—it's kind of more of a, a mature, you know, thing. Um, what I mean, uh, um, <laughs> that wasn't uh, explaining enough. It's just that, in a lot of ways, um, games kind of direct themselves towards a. Um, I don't know, like, you know, as if everyone's 12 and they can't um, intelligently deal with, like, having romantic involvement, this type of thing, which it's, you know, I, I think it's, it's pretty ridiculous. Um, I mean, it's not a big game, it's just, it's ridiculous. Alright. Alright, let's go. Let's go. So, um, by the way, if you haven't really been paying, paying attention to the dialogue, what we're doing here is we're looking for a um, a beacon um, that's Prothean technology. Um, anyway, the reason why we're we're so concerned with it is because Prothean technology in the past greatly um, upgraded, well, basically our uh, our technology overall to the point where it um, well just drastic updates technology because they were a advanced race that disappeared fifty thousand years ago. Is basically the the short and long of it. Um, anyway, it's, it's a it's technology. Um, let's get going. Alright, save and contact. Alright, let's do this. One of the things that um, happened with this. Uh, between the first game and the second game is the combat system really improved. They also cut down a lot of the RPG elements, which isn't a big issue uh, per se, but um, you know, it's uh, you know I, I it kind of it didn't annoy me per se, but it was more along the lines of like you know, realistically I like um, I kind of like a. An RPG experience, you know, I like collecting things, and I like, um, I don't know, getting new weapons that are kind of cool and different things like that. So, so yeah, um, so that kind of was kind of a bummer. Um, I think for the third one, they were talking about that they're gonna, you know, redo some of their. Uh, <laughs> Uh, redo, you know, update some of the, the more uh, RPG aspects of the game, uh, which I find pretty cool. Um, you know, again, I'm a pretty big RPG fan. Um, not an MMO fan <laughs> by any means, but um, you know, an RPG fan at the, at the very least. Um, all right, guys. So it's a little bit of uh, Mass Effect. I will uh, bring you another episode soon. Peace out, guys. See you later.